Okay, Diamonds, this is your teacher, Usman Ali, lecturer at Cardano University. In our today's video, uh, we're going to uh, talk about Binning Rich, actually. And if you remember at the time when we created uh, a vendor for our ABC practice company by the name of Ahmed & Co. So I promised you that I will have one video on Binning Rich also. So uh, to, to create one, actually, I had to go to vendors and then vendor center. And we just have only one vendor, if you remember, okay, that was Ahmed & Co. So I will just double click on this this vendor and uh, here it will take me to the details of the Amazon Co and I can make these changes also so payment setting was actually the tab and here you can you can see this this billing rate level is here you can also go and find the billing rate from the list menu also by click on clicking on list and uh, going on um, and click on then uh, billing rate level list okay now let me give you a small uh, idea about this billing rate concept that what actually the, these levels means now let us suppose it's that that Amazon Co is my one of my vendor and this guy is actually providing me some of the services which those services I I took from Amazon Co for the purpose because one of my customer needed those services okay so maybe there is a small job of a project on which Amazon Co is working and that project I had taken it from a customer and then I have given the responsibility to one of my subcontractor by the name of Amazon Co so if this guy is working on a customer job i must charge customer for that now that charges can be with respect to expenses items uh, hourly rates mileage rates okay whatever that that that, that depends on the nature of the job here now here uh, why do i need to have billing rates here it is possible that uh, one particular type of service uh, can be provided by more than one type of vendors to my company in real life scenario. Now, maybe some of my vendors are highly experienced. Maybe some of my vendors are mediocre level. They had a mediocre level or moderate level experience. And some of them have a lesser experience in the field of providing those services. Now, don't you think so that if one of my customer i have given that privilege to a customer that one of the, the best of my all vendors is actually working on that customer job so that will for sure directly impact the quality of that service actually which is provided and that's the case we say that quality comes with price i must charge customers with high prices okay as compared to my other uh, subcontractors who are working for customer job I can price them less now if you remember at the time of creating a, uh, a service item which we created here from the uh, list menu and items here so uh, if you remember we have created some of the service items here like you can see let me show you here we have some service items here by the name of furniture consultancy installation services repair services these are some of the services and let's suppose all of these services are taken by another subcontractor contractor and these services are actually performed for on a customer job now for every services I have my purchase value and my sales value here also okay so maybe I want to go different from that standard value that's why I had to use a billing rate here like this let me show you so that you don't get stuck and confused here I will go to list item let me click on furniture consultancy here in furniture consultancy if I purchase this a service from my subcontractor it will cost me $20 per hour and if I sell this or I, I bill it to my customer then the customer had to pay 30 now if one of my best subcontractor is working on this job and to that subcontractor I am paying 20 but as he is the best okay so I may plan to charge more than 30 or I may plan to bill my customer more than this 30 actually or maybe less than this 30 if that contractor is not good okay maybe it's possible so for that uh, uh, there is no need to change this 30 here in this place because that's the standard rate and to solve this problem actually we are using these billing rate levels here now how to create one I will click on the down uh, down arrow I will click on add new and in add new I can just go for any billing rate level here uh, for simplicity purposes I will just write uh, the name of the company here also if, if you wanna if you wanna have one or maybe I can um, I can write like billing uh yeah billing rate level one it's totally up to me i can write the name of the vendor here i can write anything here billing rate level level one or even let, let me make it more small billing rate level one okay brl one uh, 
Now, the next thing the QuickBook asks from me is that, that sir, you're going to uh, like bill it on the same rate for all our service items or no, you're going to use a custom custom hourly rate. So let me just go to custom hourly rate and then I will tell you what actually this fixed rate means. Now, in custom hourly rate. Now, if you can see here, our company actually provide three types of services to our customers. We provide furniture consultancy services, we provide installation services, we provide uh, repair services also here, okay? So we, pro we are providing different services here. Now here, uh, the standard rates which actually I use that at the at the time of the creation is like uh, that that was 38 and 10 like this was the one 22 was the purchase price and 30 was the selling price okay now in a customized hourly rate per service item means that I can individually uh, go for uh, in, individually go for all uh, them and I can fix some prices like like I can make 30 to 35 it means that normally uh, I will charge thirty dollar per hour if uh, if my my subcontractors are providing some services and customer had to pay me, so I have to bill them this much. But if if Ahmed and Co is working on furniture consultancy for my customer, okay, and then I have applied billing rate one. So according to this billing rate one, Ahmed and Co is working to provide some consultancy services to my customer, and that time I will charge my customer, I will bill him 35 hours, sorry, $35 per hour. It's possible for installation, maybe I charge 10 here, maybe I charge 13 here. Is the reason is that, that Ahmed and Co is the highly experienced uh, highly experienced uh, subcontractor of mine and nine and I love to charge uh, more or I love to build more my customers for that reason actually here so once I am done if let's suppose I do not want to apply any changes to repair and services I will just uncheck it so just QuickBook will just take these two values there I say that no I want to bring changes in all of them because Amazon Co is the best so I will select all of them check in all of them give them the new rates the giving them new rates does not mean that in my service item these rates will change they will remain standard same but whenever Ahmad will work then QuickBook will go for some some exceptional exceptions and then QuickBook will use these rates otherwise other subcontractors are working so they will use the same standard rates here once I'm done then I will press OK and here you can see we have actually created one uh, rate that's billing level uh, billing rate level one I will press OK here now that's done this is how to create actually a billing rate okay now in in the next video uh, what I will tell you is that after this that how to use this billing rate it, it, creating a billing rate is a very easy thing but conceptualizing is that how actually this billing rate is used is uh, that's the main that's the major uh, what you say point so uh, this was about how to create a billing rate and the second one is how to use these rates once it, it is created i hope you liked the video stay safe folks